Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to use an insulin pen. If you live with any type of diabetes, you might be recommended to start taking insulin by your healthcare team. Insulin is a safe and effective way to manage your blood sugars and is given by injection. First, look at the pen that you're using and make sure it is the right type of insulin for that time as ordered by your team. Then remove the cap. You will notice that the insulin cartridge is pre-loaded into the pen, making it ready to use and easy. On the end of the pen, there is a window that shows the number of units you are taking, a dial where you can adjust your dose, and a button to administer the insulin itself. You will have also received a box of needle tips with your prescription from the pharmacy. These needle tips will need to be attached in order to use your insulin pen. Take one needle and peel the paper off of the back. Then attach the needle onto the pen until it feels tight and secure. Remove the two safety caps to reveal the needle underneath. There is a small amount of air in the tip of the needle before you inject, so we recommend priming the pen before you dial your actual dose. In order to prime, you're going to turn the dial to one unit only and push the button to get the insulin into the needle tip. You will notice drops at the end of the needle. This means you've primed it correctly. After you've primed it, you can then choose the dose or number of units that you are currently taking using the dial on the pen. Once you have your dose dialed up, you can then select your injection site. You are able to inject safely into many areas of the body, including your abdomen, side of your thigh, lower back, upper buttocks, or back of your arm. It can be challenging to self-inject into your arms or other hard-to-reach places, so consider getting support from a support person if you're choosing one of these sites. Your abdomen is the preferred site as it is easy to reach, easy to rotate, and allows the insulin to be absorbed the most consistently. If choosing the abdomen, it's important to ensure that you are at least one inch away from your belly button on each side. Also avoid any areas that have pre-existing scar tissue, stretch marks, or injecting into a muscular area. It's very important to move your injection site around and rotate at least two to three centimeters to avoid lumps or bumps under the skin from repeated injections into the same area. Once you've selected your site, you will then inject the insulin at 90 degrees, straight into the area. You do not need to angle the pen in any way. Press the injection button on the end of the pen all the way in to administer the insulin dose, and then hold it for 10 seconds before you remove the needle. This 10 seconds will allow the insulin to be absorbed into the tissue. After completing the injection, you can reattach the clear needle tip tightly. Then twist the used needle off and dispose into your sharps container, which will also be provided from the pharmacy when you pick up your prescriptions. Always use a new needle tip each time to promote comfortable and effective injections. Finally, recap your insulin pen and store for future use. You can store all open pens at room temperature and any extra pens in your refrigerator. Most pens can be stored at room temperature for 28 to 30 days safely, with some pens lasting up to 50 days. If you have any questions about your specific type of insulin, please consult with your team. If any other questions or concerns come up when you're using the insulin or about dosing your insulin, please contact your diabetes team at Langs 
other healthcare team member or a pharmacist for your for support. Thank you.